Hi, my name is Angie and welcome to Stability Ball Workout. Let's get going. Getting warmed up is important. I, I'm going to do about six different 30 second warm up drills. Join me. You're going to take the ball to begin with and just lift it up. Mine is about a moderate size, so if I were to sit on it, my thighs would be about parallel. But regardless of the size that you have, what you have will work. We'll make it work. So, hands on the ball, and we're going to start with just a squat, just a little bitty squat, just a little bitty baby squat. So, a squat and a push forward, squat and out to the side, squat and forward, squat and out to the side. Let's do that. So squat center, and then reach and kind of push it out like you're trying to pass the ball to someone on the side. And lift. Make sure to lift that back heel and rotate it so you don't torque that ankle or knee as we're trying to get warmed up. A few more seconds. And then we're going to go to a ham curl. And we're going to just swing the ball down low as we do that ham curl. Today, I want you to realize that, all, as always, any workout or anything we do is based on what works for you. Give me a ham curl. So drive the heel up into the glutes, and let's take this side to side. Side to side. Just swinging it. Purpose again, just to get our core temperature up a little bit and get us engaged for the rest of the workout. But anything hurts, doesn't feel right, modify. And I'll show those modifications along the way few more seconds and then we're going to take the ball and hold on to it in the middle and do alternate lunges reversing them so taking the lunges to the back all right ball in take your foot back elbows in ball close to me and as soon as I step my foot back I'm bending that knee keeping my shoulders over my hips now what I want you to do I'm going to do it from the front is whatever leg is in front rotate to that side. Whatever leg's in the front, rotate to that side. Oh, awesome. One more each side. Fantastic. And then we're going to stay here. Give me some arm presses. So I'm pushing and squeezing that ball. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now let's do it a little bit quicker. Push, 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 push push. This should be getting warm. Chest, arms. Yes. Push, push, push. Back to slow for four pushes. Slow. Three pushes. Two. One. A little bit quicker. Push. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now put that ball down. We're going to sit on it. Keep our feet obviously grounded well and just lift off the ball. We're not hopping to the point that our bottom comes off of it, but just right before that point. Good, keep going, keep going, lift up. This reminds me of being a kid and having those hoppy horses. I think I had a Donald Duck one. I'm aging myself. But anyway, getting those quads warmed up right now. A few more seconds here. Five, four, three, two and one come on up last one open the toes up i'm going to take my arm like i'm trying to chop the ball we're going to go one two three hold and then one two three hold one two three hold one two three hold last sets one two three hold and one two three hold all right we're going to get started first exercise is a minute we're going to do two squats two squats and then overhead squeeze two squats and overhead squeeze we're going to go for a minute in all of the exercises that we're going to do and at 30 seconds during each exercise drill i'll change it just a bit so two squats overhead squeeze and i really want you to squeeze that ball bounce maybe overhead squeeze bounce overhead squeeze bounce overhead squeeze we're trying to 
again, make that tight press at the top to invoke the shoulders and upper back muscles. Good. Now we're going to do one squat, two squeezes at the top. One bounce, two squeezes. Bounce, squeeze, squeeze overhead. Bounce, squeeze, squeeze. Squat and bounce, two squeezes. Excellent. We've got about five seconds. The next exercise we're going to move to is going to be from a belly on the ball position. Last bounce, squeeze, squeeze. This one is a tuck and pike. I like to start with my knees kind of bent, roll on the ball, and then I work the ball back to my shoelaces or near my shoelaces. From here, kind of turn my fingers in, get them comfortable. I'm going to do not a push up, but I want you to get your hands set so that if you did do a push up, it would be comfortable for your shoulders. From that position, I'm going to do a knee tuck and just lift my hips, keeping my legs straight for a pike. Tuck and pike, and that's all. Tuck and pike. You can just do the tuck, you can just do the pike, or you can just hold this plank. We're about halfway done. And I'm exhaling here, exhaling and the pike. Keep your head nicely aligned. So you shouldn't be looking way up like this. Not so good to crane your neck that way. Knee tuck and a pike. Knee tuck and a pike. One more. Knee tuck and a pike. And then the best part is rolling back. Next exercise we're going to go to is a bridge and a glute. Elbows here, and we're going to do a glute, bridge, drop down, lift up, ham curl in and out. Look at my elbows right next to my ribs. Down, up, contract, in, out. Keep with it. Down, up, in, out. Awesome. Down, up, in, out. We got this. Working hamstrings and glute. Core is absolutely incorporated here. Nice. Curl in and out. Driving the hips up. Squeezing the glutes. Big smile on your faces. Super fun. <laughs> you can get your own music playing during this. Down, up. Curl in and out. A few more seconds. Then we're going to do probably my favorite exercise of this workout and drop down. It's called a half burpee. You can do it as a walkout. So it may look like this. Put your elbows on. You can walk out, out, in, in, but we're going to stay low with pressure on the ball. Or out in. So your options, walk it out, walk it in, keeping that elbow firm on the ball, or hop out, hop in. Yeah? What do you think? Out in, out in, or walk in, walk out. Nice little cardio burst, and your feet are wide, and you're dropping your hips down. Don't keep the booty in the air. About 30 seconds. How are we doing? <laughs> keep going. Nice. Abdominals tight. Pull them in always. The way you work them is the way they maintain muscle memory. So work them the way you want them. Nice. Three, two, and one. Perfect. Next movement, we're going to go belly on. We're going to continue to work core, back muscles and glutes. So get the ball about mid-belly, hands in front. From here, we're going to alternately kick or lift. Don't arch your backs, but do engage those back muscles. One, two, three, four. Feet apart. Both of the heels drive up as you contract your glutes. Use those low back muscles. Three, 
and four, keep them up about 90 degrees. Your feet should be mostly flat like you're trying to hold up the ceiling. Two, three, four. Back to those alternate kicks. One, two, three, four. Feet apart. One, two, three, four. Bend 90 degrees. One, two, three, four. And kick. One, two, three, four. Feet apart. One, two, three, four. Bend. One, two. Last two, three, four. Beautiful. Bring it on down and roll it up. Next one, we're going to go single leg deadlift. Start. Feet staggered. Ball up. Now, start just with the hinge from those hips. Arms are long and tall, long and tall. If you want, and you want to make it more difficult, you can lift that leg. We will switch it halfway. Fantastic for your balance. And lifting that back leg is optional. You can get a great glute, ham work, switch legs just from the motion and the staggered position, kind of an 80-20. So this deadlift can be single leg, and you're going to have that wobbly, wiggly leg. Nice. Slow control. And again, anytime you've got that ball extended, you're using back muscles, shoulder muscles, and core. Nice. About trip there. Awesome. <laughs> Next one, we're going to go on the ball. For this, if you've got two dumbbells, small ones, or if you've got two water bottles, start at neutral, walk your body down till your low back is supported. And then we're just going to come up. We're going to jab forward, alternating forward. If you've just got one dumbbell, you can just use your one dumbbell between two hands and take it forward, or don't use any dumbbells, but your choice. You can jab one arm and then the other, or punch them both out. Good. Now try this. Take the feet a little wider and alternately lift shoulders and do a cross punch. So a cross. You add those obliques in those side waist controller muscles. And again, you don't have to use dumbbells for any of this. You can keep your hands behind your head or neck if that works better for you. Beautiful. Next one, we're going to go belly on the ball again. We're going to do lateral tap-offs. So again, my knees are bent, belly in. I'm going to take my feet so my shoelaces are on top. And then laterally tap off. You've got to decide if this works for you. If it doesn't, you can take it even down from here simply to an elbow plank and hold it here, keeping that body aligned. Or you can just tap off one, rest, tap off the other, rest, or not tap off at all and just hold that plank. Again, where's your neck? Where are you looking? Hopefully straight down. Fantastic. Beautiful. Abdominals pulled up and in. And then we're going to go through these all again, starting with the squat and overhead. Hang on, guys. we got a few seconds, maybe about five, uh, maybe about four. <laughs> And that's good. Shoulders roll. Big breath. Shake it out. We're going to start all over, going through those one more time. If you need a drink of water, I do. And here we go. We've got two squats. Squat, squat, overhead and squeeze. Squat, squat, overhead and squeeze. So we'll do this for the first 30 seconds, and then we'll do one squat, 
and then two overhead squeezes, maybe a bounce. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Nice, from here, one squat, squeeze, squeeze up top. One squat and bounce, two squeezes. Great for bicep, tricep muscles, of course, in addition to those shoulders. Boom, 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 boom. Nice, nice. <sighs> Working, working hard, feeling great. All right, we're gonna go to the tuck and pike. So again, starting with knees bent, rolling belly on, and work the ball back to the shoelaces. So again, you can remain like this, or try the tuck, reestablish your plank, straight legs lift for pike. Tuck and pike. Very intentional, slow down enough that you are controlling every movement and making sure it's perfect. Where's your breathing? Should be an exhale on the in and an exhale on the up. And up. Nice. Shoulders, push them away from your ears. And again, always cognizant of where that neck is positioned and where your gaze is. Almost there, guys. Perfect. Last pike. And then down as you need to get. All right, we're going to go back down to the floor for the glute bridge and the ham curl. Elbows, heels mostly on top. So down, up, curl in, and back to start. Down, squeeze, in and out. Really ideal to keep those hips tightly lifted and contracted. <sighs> Head down and down, up, curl in, curl out. My weight is predominantly on my heels. My knees, I would definitely not say they're not locked out, but they are straight, but they are a little bit soft. If you feel any issues, any tinges of uncomfortability in your low back, just stop, stretch, modify. What works for you is what works. A couple more seconds, down, up. I'm feeling burn, 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 baby. Down, up, in and out, down, up, in and out. Back to, did I say this was my favorite? The walkout, the burpee or half burpee walkout. So elbows on, remember it's an out, out, in, in, we're staying low. You've got to put pressure down into that ball. Let's try it. Feet back and in. You're keeping low, but you're keeping your core really really engaged by pressure on that ball. If you want to take it up, we'll stay here. Drop those hips every time. When your feet come up, they should be wider, a little bit wider than the ball. Your gaze should be down. There you go, 30 seconds. Nice little cardio burp. Bur Did I say burp? I said burp. What I meant to say was burst. <laughs> Although, this might induce you to burp. Keep the hips low, guys. Back. Boom, boom. <sighs> Pushing down into the ball. Your abs are getting a heck of a workout with this pressure that you're pushing down into the ball with. And good. Next one. We're going to go belly on, and we're going to do those alternating kicks, wide V kicks, and 90 degree pulses. So, belly on, alternate the kicks, squeezing your glutes. One, two, three, four. Feet wide, contract. Two, three, four. Bend the knees, 
push up two, but it's more of a squeeze than an actual lifting or pushing up. Four, back to kicks. One, two, three, four, feet wide. One, two, squeezing the glutes. Three, four, bend, push through the heels. Two, three, four, kick. One, two, three, four, lift and contract, smile big, doing great, bend, and one, two, three, four, excellent, come on down, and we move on, single leg deadlift, right, remember we start with that staggered, 80-20, 80% of your weight in front, and up, because you know what you're doing, keep those eyes straight ahead. Use that back leg or lift the back leg. So use it kind of as a kickstand. Very, 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 very intentional in your movement. Balancing. And then we're going to switch. 80% of the weight in front. And when the ball comes up every time, again, retracting those shoulders, using those back muscles. And this is my wiggly side. Slow it down when you feel less stable. And last one. Fantastic. We're going to our crunches. With or without your dumbbells, the first 30 seconds after you come to neutral, walk the ball down so it supports that low back. And we're going to jab forward. <sighs> Lifting the shoulder up, head really aligned. You do not want to be looking up here. Wherever your punch is, that's where you're looking. Straight ahead. Exhale. Nice job, guys. Feet about shoulder width apart. And again, can be done with hands behind head, as long as you're not pulling on your neck. And then we're going to take a feet a little bit wider and cross body jab. When you add those weights, obviously you get more arm work, shoulders, little bicep. It's a bigger load on your abdominals. And of course, when we take this angle, we're working our obliques or side waist control muscles. A few more. So close. So close. Fantastic. Drop them down. And now we're going to go to our lateral tap offs. We're so close, guys. Bend those knees. Come on down. Remember the options here. If you don't want to laterally tap, you can just keep the feet on top, or you can hold it at that decline elbow plank. Or, like we started, my shoelaces are on the ball. That makes it more difficult, right? The further the ball gets away and toward the end of the feet, more difficult. But hey, we're up for the challenge. Let's keep going. You need to pause, pause, rest, rest. Keep the shoulders away from your ears, belly again. I can't say it enough. Pulled in tight to your spine. And we've got five, four, three, two, and one. And down. Wow. All right, from here. We're going to do three sets of my all-time favorite exercise with the stability ball called I Hate the Ball. Lie down, ball between your feet, shin area, squeeze 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now squeeze it, lift your shoulders, and hit it like you hate it. One, two, three, four, 
five, lower it. How was that? Good, let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice inner thighs. Lift those shoulders, and I don't want pity patty, patty cake. Hit the thing, get those shoulders up. And one, two, like you hate it. Three, four, five. We're gonna go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can we do one more? Good. You're shaking your head. Yes, I can feel it. Ten squeezes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up. Do it. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze up. I'll hit it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop. Ooh. Feet on top. How about one leg crosses over? Roll the ball in. Give it a nice hug because you did a fantastic job. What great effort. And switch. Pull the bottom leg in. Roll it in with the ball. Hands through. Great job, guys. Eight exercises, one minute each. Lots of ways to do each one. Excellent. Let's take it up. I like to get up with the aid of the ball. And from here, let's just sit. Take your head down and just roll it to the front. I don't want you rolling your head or neck to the back, just to the front, semicircle in front. And come back to center. Give me rolls back for two. And reverse. And again, back. Smiling and reverse. Fantastic. From here, take the ball in front. Open those toes. And remember, in the warm-up, we did a one, two, three hold. Well, we're just doing the three hold part. So push the arm into the ball. Open up the back hand. Rotate and get a great stretch and take a nice breath. And switch and open up and a nice breath. Beautiful. Take the ball, fingertips roll away, looking down, one toe up, head between the biceps, and sit it back, hinging at the hips and reaching. Roll it in and switch feet, other toe up, roll it away. Head between. Nice, nice, nice. Drop the foot, bring it in. So whatever foot is on the outside of the ball, step back. Drop that knee down. Push it forward. Arm up, lift up and over an invisible ledge. Beautiful, nice quadricep. And hip flexor stretch. Together, ball to the other side. Outside leg steps back. Shoulders over the hips, drop it down. Arm up, reach up and over that imaginary ledge. Yes. And take it down. Pick up the ball. We're going to take it from one side all the way over and down. Then the reverse. All the way over and down. One more time around. Following the ball with your eyes and reverse. We're going to sit down on the ball and we're going to clap. Great workout. See you next time. Bye-bye.